Another video for you today. Otter video parity oi. Tor proxy. Just how anonymous is the onion routing proxy? Just what exactly is a Tor proxy? Tor is an acronym that stands for the onion routing program. Tor is supposed to secure information passed across the internet from your computer. I first learned of Tor when looking into an alleged December 16, 2013 Harvard bomb plot supposedly carried out by Eldo Kim. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, also known as the FBI, claimed that Eldo Kim had used Tor proxy on his MacBook laptop. Tor is free software that is supposed to protect your identity. I found this information alarming and a huge red flag. I found out that Tor was created by the United States Department of Defense in 1995. I decided to look into Tor further. This free software was created by the Center for High Assurance Computer Systems of the United States Naval Research Laboratory. This security software was originally created with the United States Navy in mind. This software is supposed to keep your communications anonymous on Ethernet networks up to a point of those data packets leaving Onion Routing. Since allegedly Eldo Kim connected his MacBook Pro to Harvard's college wireless network, perhaps it was still possible for his data packets becoming sniffed, so to speak. The Onion Router project claims that their software does not include a backdoor. Also, their software is open sourced. What that means is that you could potentially look at this software's code line by line to check to see if there is a backdoor present. Does Tor proxy really protect your identity or is even this software not 100% foolproof? I do not have an answer to this question at this time. However, I won't be installing the software on any of my computers anytime soon because the website AshleyMadison.com actually used the Onion router and was still hacked. As a matter of fact, MIT researchers were able to allegedly identify 88% of websites in the Tor network. 88%? That's a pretty high number. And then Ashley Madison, some of the web pages that were hacked actually were using Tor. We can check out Tor. An anonymity online, protect your privacy, defend yourself against network surveillance and traffic analysis, download Tor. What is Tor? I kind of went over that already. Why anonymity matters. A new leader for Tor, recent blog posts, who uses Tor, Tor browser, Tails, Atlas, Stem, Orbit, that's for Google Android devices, Arm, Pluggable Transports, and Uni, O-O-N-I, the Internet Defense League, and they have manuals, installation guides, Tor Wiki General, FAC, and a download link. Tor browser for new Linux. Tor browser for 64-bit new Linux. Not using Linux download for macro windows. So Tor runs and works th that browser that is supposed to be anonymous. It's really like a proxy. It's supposed to allow you to browse the internet anonymously. But it doesn't seem to work 100% of the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I had a bit of a perplexing. And then I remember Tor so That's why I decided to make this video. Because it's been brought up in the news again with the AshleyMadison.com fiasco. Anyways, it's up to you. You can check it out. Torproject.org. Check it out. See if it suffices for you. For me, I'm a little bit hesitant because of those two aforementioned incidences and then MIT allegedly 88% of the time they can identify a Tor network or, or excuse me they can identify a Tor website on the Tor network you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other possible potential tips information and tricks to help you solve your most common computer problems thank you for listening adios